when can a Braemar jacket be worn? Should probably define Braemar. what a Braemar jacket yeah. is. A Braemar, a Crail, and an Argyle jacket. All three are very, very, very similar. The main difference is the cuff. On an Argyle, you have a gauntlet cuff, which is the scallops and the three lines and three buttons across the bottom of the cuff. A Crail cuff is the plain, finished, hemmed end to the bottom of the sleeve, and then a single button on the back side of the arm. A Braemar cuff is a little patch of fabric that's actually sewn on top, usually the same color as the jacket, that has a little bit of scalloping, and then three buttons going vertically up the sleeve, like it's on a, uh, a Prince Charlie jacket and vest. There's one right behind you. There's one right behind me. This is a Braemar jacket that happens to be in a, a gray tweed type fabric. You can also have a Braemar jacket in black, just like an Argyle jacket. Right. You can also have a Crail jacket in black or in different colors. Argyle, Crail, Braemar define the cut of the jacket, and then the material makes it either tweed or or black barathea. It's it's it makes it different. But the cut of the jacket is either Braemar, Crail, or Argyle. Yeah, and there, there's not much differentiation between the bodies of the jackets. It's really these appointments that we're talking yeah. about. And if you've, if you've picked up the term Braemar jacket from our website or from another vendor, um, we will tend to use those terms for those appointments as a descriptor for the jacket as a whole. So it can lead to a little bit of confusion. Some people I think will see, oh, all Braemar jackets are gray, <coughs> all Argyles are black. Um, and while it might be a majority for, for some things, you know, like all Prince Charlies are black. Well, there's plenty of different colored PCs out there. Not always a good idea. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's really, in terms of the formality, uh, the appointments of the jacket are not going to be nearly as important as the fabric. Something which uh, is a uh, a tweed or a you know a, a soft gray like the jacket that's behind Rocky um, is not going to be good for an after six you know semi formal to formal setting. Whereas if you had the exact same appointments on a black jacket, and used silver buttons instead of the antler buttons, then that's going to be fine. For something like what we call our Braemar jacket, um, it's like a tweed. So consider it for day use and maybe casual nice, you know, day, casual nice. Like yeah, day. looking nice for a date night, but not yeah. a formal occasion. Going to a wedding, wedding, you're not in the wedding. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You can have a tweed argyle jacket. The cut of the jacket, the cuffs on the jacket are an argyle cut made from tweed. You can have right. a, a, a formal-esque Braemar jacket in black Barathea. So it's the cut of the jacket versus the material of the jacket. Yeah. I think the material is the more important factor for formality. Agreed. Yeah. At least with Highland wear. Yep. So, so Braemar, yes, you can wear formal, uh, formal-esque or day wear, but it depends on the fabric that the jacket's made from. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you are wondering what jacket you're gonna wear with your kilt, check out this video over here for some of our recommendations. Or if you got a formal event like a wedding to go to, check out this playlist.